What is up guys, Sam Man back with another review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new NECA Toys Sam Trick or Treat Ultimate figure. I picked this up at Target. It, NECA, I think just released this not last week in their NECA Amazon store, but super happy to have this. I did a review on the Mego style one, the retro cloth one. We'll do a comparison in that one later on in the video. Um, look at the packaging, so you have the box packaging, you know, the same kind of packaging you get from all the Ultimates, but it has this like uh, hologram, cover on it you can see it's kind of like metallic really really nice and you'll show you guys close-ups on some of the images of the actors and characters that are in the film pretty much everybody that is in the film so I absolutely love the cover of this box on the side you have Sam there sitting on the pumpkins and it reads trick-or-treat on the back it has a little bit of a read-up so if you want to read that feel free to pause there. If you guys have not seen the movie, highly recommend it. If you guys have Shudder, it is playing on Shudder, but there's different ways you can display Sam because he does come with several accessories. He's got four interchangeable heads, four interchangeable hands, candy bar, lollipop, sack, and two jack-o'-lanterns. On the side over here, you have the same image of Sam. And then there's a the top. Now this does open up with the Velcro flap. You have the uh, image right here of Sam, again, in that holographic uh, image here and then you have the open window with all of the accessories so very very cool let's open them up and take a close look at every accessory and the figure and see if it's a pickup or pass this is the insert that you get you have the house look how cool this looks the picture on this when you see this in person this is an actually good quality picture and then you have all of the pumpkins in the walkway and the same with the stairway so this is the image, a little insert that you get, so you guys can use this here for photos, but an awesome looking picture. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some of the accessories that Sam comes with. So you have this hand here, and this looks like it's a hand to hold on to either the lollipop or the, the candy bar. So you have this one here, the detailing and paint apps on this one are very nice. You have his candy bar right here, which has a blade inside of it. So you can see the wrapper is peeled. Almost looks like a Snickers bar. And you can see the blade there. So that is very cool that we get this uh, other accessory here. And then we also get, of course, his iconic lollipop that he uses as a weapon. You can see the piece has been bitten off. And you get also a sack. Now, this is, I like the way the sack is on this one. This sounds so wrong compared to the uh, ultimate, not the ultimate, the uh, retro style one, because this one obviously looks like it has items in it. And you can see blood that is seeping through the the bag itself but the detailing on it looks nice it's kind of like a soft rubber material on this one as well you can kind of squeeze through it and then same with the handle and you can see some blood on there but very very nice little addition to have in here as well um, you also get let's see you get this hand here and this is the one that's severed off and you can see the little like a uh, little like tendons that are on there and you can see like seeds pumpkin seeds and you can see the hands kind of, you know, it's got an open hand there. So you got that. I love the colors on this one here. So this is a really nice little accessory. You get various interchangeable head sculpts here. You have the the mask version with the slit in the mouth. So you can have him like he's eating his candy bar. And you can kind of see the, uh, the mouth underneath. So I don't know if it has any articulation. Uh, no, it doesn't. But look at that. This is, this is a great head sculpt here. And then you have the rope, which is a soft rubber material. Very, very cool. There's a little bit of blood on there. I really like this head sculpt here. You got the button eyes. Awesome. Very creepy looking. Almost reminds me of the Dr. Uh, Deckard from um, from the movie by Clive Barker. Wow, the name escapes me. They just released a figure right now. Nightbreed. So you have this one here. You have unmasked head sculpts as well. You have this one. Very creepy one. Pumpkin head. Are any articulation in the mouth? Yes, he's got articulation in the mouth. That's something I failed to mention in the retro review. The the head sculpt has on the retro figure uh, articulation as well, but the detailing and paint ups on this are really good. But look at that. You can see inside the mouth. He's got articulation. Very cool. You also get another one where he's battle damaged. You can see a seed coming out of the head sculpt. And this one is uh, kind of like a soft rubber material. And then he also does have articulation whoa he has articulation in the head sculpt but there's both head sculpts right there so you can see a little side by side comparison looks to pretty much kind of be the same head sculpt except it's battle damage now you do get two pumpkins as well jack-o'-lanterns you have this one here which is very creepy looking look at the detailing on that love the sculpting you can see a bunch of little holes in there there's the bottom 
There's a top. Does this open up? It almost looks like this would open up, right? You probably could cut through this and make a custom little light inside it because it is hollow inside. So that's pretty cool. You get this pumpkin and then you also get this one here. Now this one has a little flame effect on top and then the bottom there is a part, you know, a little screw so you can unscrew to put batteries in because this one does light up and I'll show you guys that right here. So if I were to push this down, you can see the light up effect on it and you can kind of see inside there. I'll show you guys some images in the dark exactly how this lights up, but I absolutely love this. This guy is just loaded with a lot of very, very cool accessories. So now let's go ahead and bring out Sam. And here he is guys, we have Sam from Trick or Treat. Look at the head sculpt we have on this one. The sack head looks fantastic. He's also got some blood on this part as well. He doesn't have the, uh, the loose strings like he does on this one here. But they're all, it's all, you know, glued on to the, the, uh, the sack. The head sculpt looks awesome. The eyes, the stitched mouth. You can see all the stitching as well throughout the head sculpt. Very, very great detail. And then you have his little onesie that he is wearing. You got little, pou uh, like, orange pouches here, yellowish pouches. And the orange outfit. You have his, this hand here. And then this one over here, which looks like it's probably holds on to. Can this one hold on to the candy cane? No, but it'll probably hold on to. Let's see what we can hold on with this hand. This one will probably hold on to the chocolate bar. Yeah, you can hold on to that there. And what will hold on to the, will this one hold a sack? You probably get this one to hold a sack too if you want it. You got to pry the hand open a little bit on that. But look at this. Very cool. I know a lot of people were excited for this one more so um, than the, the Meagle retro style one. And I honestly liked the Meagle retro style one because of the actual look, the cloth look. But seeing this one in hand, I mean, this is the better one. I'm not gonna lie. Um, in the way of his articulation now, he does have rotation in the head sculpt. You can kind of get it to go up and down. The legs do go in and out pretty far too, forward and back. He's got a bend at the knee. He's got lower leg rotation, upper leg rotation. Does he have foot articulation? Okay, the foot goes up and down. And he's got a little ankle pivot. He's got peg holes at the bottom of the feet too. Arms do go in and out. You see that there? Forward and back. A bend at the elbow. Lower arm rotation. The hand can rotate. It's on a hinge as well. And I don't think the upper arm can rotate. No, it looks like not really. Can't really get it to rotate, but he's got some pretty good range of motion there. Now let's go to let's go ahead and interchange some parts here. Okay, so here we have him with the mask that has the opening in the mouth. And interchanging this was not that hard at all. It required a little bit of force, but not much. And then if you put this in his hand, and you can reenact, you know, a scene like him eating onto the candy bar or the lollipop, whichever you prefer. But um, there he is with the sack head with the mouth slit open. And then right here we have him with the battle damaged pumpkin head. I think that looks great. And then right here, we just have him with the regular pumpkin head head sculpt, which again, looks awesome. All right, so here I wanted to do a comparison with the retro style version and the ultimate figure. And yep, I gotta give it to, a lot of you guys are right. The ultimate figure is the better of the two, uh, especially in the sack. I really gotta, <laughs> Jesus, sounds so wrong. Especially in the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks fantastic in the ultimate version. Let's see how the, he looks unmasked and we'll compare the head sculpts on the two. All right, here we have the head sculpts and this one, ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. I don't know, they both look really good. I don't even know which paint sculpt I like better. Um, the ultimate one looks, I, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta say the ultimate one might take the cake on this one as well, but there's a little bit of a comparison between the two. And I had to show him here holding onto his lollipop and he holds onto it perfect. It doesn't feel, fit loose at all. It'll stay in his hand perfectly. And there you go, guys. There is my review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new NECA Toys Sam from the Trick or Treat movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you guys check out the flick. Ultimate Sam figure. You guys are right. This is the better of the two from the retro style NECA Toys Sam. Even though I do love that one as well. But this one, I gotta give it to, man. This was an awesome ultimate. It's always it's always awesome when you get an ultimate figure because NECA usually knocks it out of the park, but it's always extra cool when you get that figure and you open it up and you love all of the accessories. You love all the interchangeable head parts. It just looks great. 
this is a figure you're definitely going to want to buy multiple multiples up so you can display him the different ways and you get two pumpkins the jack-o-lanterns look awesome you got one that lights up NECA did a fantastic job. I really got to give it to NECA. Absolutely love this figure. You guys in the comments below, let me know. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? What do you think about this figure? If you got it, let me know your thoughts. Which is better, this one or the retro style one? Let me know down below, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon for more reviews. Later, guys. Awesome. Let's see. Uh -huh.